Just as you have a utility function on the consumer's side, you can think of the production function on the producer's side. Here I have used the symbol Q to represent total product or total output produced and that will always be a function of the various inputs that have been applied. Uh, in traditional microeconomics we used to th think mainly in terms of four factor inputs, land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship. In fact, uh, when you represent it graphically, we used the two-dimensional representation where Q is considered to be a function of the two main inputs, capital and labor, where land, land and labor entrepreneurship were taken to be constant. Remember, the advantage of using mathematics to represent and deal with economics is that you can have a general function of this form where Q or total output is a function of X1, X2, etc. till Xn. X1 represents the number of units of factor input 1, X2 represents number of units of factor input 2 and so on. Xn will represent number of units of factor input n. The two variable case was useful as it could be easily represented in terms of a graph such as say this L on the x-axis and K on the y-axis and if you shift it to a specific case of this general function you can represent it in this way and whereas this is your production function this specific case is your isoquant in words we had defined isoquant as different combinations of factor inputs capital and labor which would yield the same level of output it was drawn like this where the entire groups or combinations of K and L which gives you the same level of output IQ0 are represented by the different points on the curve just drawn. The slope of the isoquant is called the marginal rate of technical substitution and you can derive the formula for the marginal rate of technical substitution by the same method as we derived the slope of the indifference curve or rewriting the equation of the isoquant remember uh, for simplification purposes I am sticking to a two input production function. So this is the slope of my isoquant by totally differentiating it. I will get dq bar is equal to dou q by dou k times dk plus dou q by dou l times dl. And remember in this case we are moving from one point A where you are employing L1 and K1 units of labor and capital to point B where you are employing L2 and K2 units of labor and capital respectively. But as you move from point A to point B as you are moving along the same indifference uh, in isoquant the change in quantity will be zero so putting the left hand side equal to zero and taking uh, the
first jump to the left hand side remember our graph was with L on the X axis and K on the Y axis so the slope for this particular graph would be DK by DL so I can write DK by DL as minus of the ratio of tau Q by tau L divided by tau Q by tau K that is if you remember tau q by tau l tells you how does the output change for a small change in labor keeping the other factors constant in other words this is the concept marginal product of labor in economics Similarly, tau Q by tau K tells you by how much does output change for a small change in the units of capital, keeping all other things constant. In economics, this is the marginal product of capital. So, in conclusion, I can write that the marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital is dk by dl which is equal to minus mpl by mpk similarly the marginal rate of technical substitution of capital for labor will be written as dl by dk which is minus mpk by mpl